all right guys so we're back for another grand cross video now the update is here with the patch notes and we got some information on you know everything that's going to be coming out with this update so it should be done in the next two hours or so so uh yeah keep that in mind now final boss draw and galaxy are here final boss is always fun for more um you know materials for free basically um they're not really that difficult either so you should be fine like you should be able to clear this uh here's some recommended heroes if you guys want to follow this list you can but um they're really not that difficult to beat so um you know it, it should be fine it should be okay there will probably be like guides that come out with this um you know this update so be on the lookout for those but yeah so draw and Gloxinia are here um you know i like Gloxinia's outfit I'm not the biggest fan of Droll, but that's fine. Um, yeah, but Gloxinia's outfit looks amazing. Like they went crazy on Gloxinia's um outfit. And the craziest part about it too is Gloxinia's outfit is in the shop and Droll's is in the ranking rewards. I feel like that should have been like reversed since Gloxinia, in my opinion, has the superior outfit. Um and Droll's outfit is good. It's just I don't know. I feel like they could have did a little more with it. Like they could have made it like, you know, silver to represent his heavy metal. But that's just me. So, yeah, final boss draw in Gloxinia will be released. Um, no one really cares about the new bundles. It's really not all that exciting. Um, there's some new costumes and summer costumes coming back. So we knew that from the uh, the update notice from yesterday. And here are all the stuff that's coming. So Escanor, Meliodas, Bond new costumes for them and then here are the returning waifu uh, summer costumes that are coming back so all the waifus are having their um their costumes come back you got merlin gila easton jericho elizabeth and deanne so all of them will be coming back so you can see right here that they have uh i guess they did the 3d model <laughs> um so here's the 3d model of the characters and how they look a uh, big meaty escanor with his sausage and all that you got lifeguard bond and then you know summer meliodas so pretty cool pretty cool stuff i mean this is for what lost vein meliodas so no one really uses him but you could use this on the blue one if you have them and if you do use them so there you go um so yeah really really cool and then here are all these sets as well so you got easton you have all the seven deadly sets. this is weird i don't i don't know why they did it like this <laughs> i don't know why they did the models so weird like because you can obviously tell like this is artwork and then this is from the in game artwork in game in game in game artwork artwork in game it's so weird i don't know why they did it like that that is just i don't know i might just be nitpicking but seems just strange that they did that and so here are some summer festival events so we got all of this stuff that's going on we got the bingo board we got an event boss battle returns gloom by the way so um yeah gloom's back which is really that crazy but the artifact system is here so we finally have the artifact system now what this is is it's gonna obviously you know every card gives you i think it gives you a set amount of you know points or not points but i guess stat boost not a huge huge boost but once you get all three cards into a set it'll give you a, you know a pretty a pretty reasonable boost to your stats which is really really good and some cards do have set bonuses so for example these set cards have damage dealt increase level one increases allies damage dealt with single target attack skills by two percent obviously you can't use this in pvp and deathmatch but that's pretty cool right uh single target attack skills get buffed up by two percent again not a huge huge buff but you know pretty pretty reasonable i would say and then here's how you can get all of the you know all those cards basically so it tells you get it from summer missions the exchange shop and then bingo board and uh here's all the missions that you do to get the first one then you just have to go into the exchange shop to get the third and then you go into bingo to get the second card pack so that's how you get those cards and uh get the set bonus for it here's just some other you know random stuff that they got going on um how you get the bingo tickets and the exchange thingy majigger you can buy it in the shop uh they added the oh this is nice i like that so they've added these things to the shop 10 super waiting that's that's actually really really good 10 super waiting coins so they added 
four new normal items to the shop i like that i'm a big fan of that actually that's pretty pretty good and uh here's some boosting events for the knighthood i i mean sure this is just you know to get your knighthoods level up so that's pretty i guess cool <laughs> i guess that's pretty cool and then the seaside furniture change update but now the biggest thing about this update is obviously the banner now roxy is again in my opinion she's a skip but if you want to summon for her hey i mean you you do you right you do you if you're gonna skip ludo margaret then you know have at it have at her banner who you know who cares but if you are gonna summon for ludo cl margaret I would highly, highly recommend you skip this banner. Um, you can, I mean, I guess you can put in a, like a multi and then you can do the one gem multi because it is a step up banner, right? Um, two, five, seven, and 10 on the 10th step, you're guaranteed Roxy. So you can do the whole 10 if you want. It's 242 gems. So keep that in mind. Or you can just do the 30 and then the one gem multi and stop right there. So keep that in mind as well. Um, this is going to be going on into the 24th. So it's actually going to last long. Yeah, it's actually going to last pretty damn long, actually. So that's yeah, that's interesting. So I'm assuming next week we get Merlin and Elizabeth. Yeah, next week we probably get Merlin and Elizabeth and then they last into the 24th as well. Okay. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So yeah. Um the banner's really I mean it's okay, but it's not all that. I mean, you got all the OC disaster units. I mean, I don't I don't know how many of you really care but here they are. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I don't know how many of you actually care for this banner. Mark 2 Valenti is not on the banner. So uh, keep that in mind. She's <laughs> she's not on the banner. So you might want to um, rethink about summoning because there's a chance you don't pull. You know, obviously you don't pull um, Roxy until the, you know, the 10th step where you're guaranteed her. But uh, I mean, it's up to you guys. Again, it's up to you guys, but that's pretty much it for the banner. Uh, again, I would say save your gems, but if you're not going to summon on the Docio Margaret, then uh, go ahead and summon, I guess. I, <laughs> You know, she's a really niche character. Like, she's niche. I wouldn't give her anything but that. She can be fun, but otherwise, she's very niche. So, um, you know, let me know down in the comments below if you're summoning for this unit or not. Let me know if you're, uh, you know, going to full step but uh that's gonna be it for the video just wanted to make this brief little update video about um obviously you know the update <laughs> that's coming out so yeah uh leave a like if for the uh, wow i'm messing up leave a like for the algorithm if you enjoyed and you guys already know as always i will see you all next time